in the beginning, there was no time nor space. God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. Then God said, let there be an expanse between the waters. God called the expanse sky. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place and let dry ground appear and it was so God called the dry land earth and the gathering of the waters he called seas and God saw that it was good then God said let the earth produce vegetation seed bearing plants and fruit trees on the earth bearing fruits with seeds in it according to their kind and God saw that it was good then God said let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night. They will serve as signs for seasons and for days and years. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule over the day. and the lesser light to rule over the night. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the waters swarm with living creatures. And let the birds fly 
above the earth, across the expanse of the sky. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them. Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas. And let the birds multiply on the earth. Then God said, Let the earth produce living creatures according to their kind. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make men in our image, according to our likeness. They will rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, the whole earth and creatures that crawl on the earth. So God created men in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. God also said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant and every tree whose fruit contains seeds. This will be food for you, for all the wildlife on the earth, for every bird on the sky. and for every creature that crawls on the earth, everything having the breath of life in it. I'd have given every green plant for food as well. And it was so. God saw all he had made, and it was very good indeed. On the seventh day, God had completed his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, for on it he rested from all his work of creation.